last couple months, we've been working on the Chipmunk 2D Physics plugin for Unity. I'm Andy. And I'm Scott. We're the authors of Chipmunk Physics. There's probably some games you might recognize that have used Chipmunk Physics, such as Waking Mars by Tiger Style, which last year was picked by Apple as their game of the year, and additionally it was an IGF finalist. Then there's also Night Sky, which was published by Nicholas, originally on the Wii, but it's made it to other platforms, and it was also an IGF finalist. Lastly, there was Zombie Smash by The Game Doctors, uh, which was a best-selling title on iOS for quite a while. So we want to see Chipmunk on Unity. Chances are you've already heard of Unity. It's a fantastic game development platform. And if you're an indie developer, or if you're making mobile games, you're probably considering a 2D or a 2.5D sort of game. Those kind of games just work great on touchscreens. While you can shoehorn a 2D game into a 3D engine, you're missing out on some of the advantages of having a dedicated 2D physics engine. With Chipmunk, your performance is much better than what you'd have using a 3D physics engine. And you've also got features that are dedicated to a 2D game, things that, are spe that will specifically help you out in the 2D world. You've got things like overlapping objects that occur more in a 2D game than it would in the 3D world, and you might want to create fake depth effects. Uh, you might have things like one-way platforms in a platformer game, and your gameplay might be heavily driven by physics. At GDC this year, a lot of people asked us about bringing Chipmunk to Unity, so we've been working on it since April. So on the left, you can see Chipmunk physics running with 330 boxes. This is on an original iPad. It's running at about 17 frames per second because we wanted to be kind of a stress test. On the right, you see a much faster iPad 2 running with the same number of objects but using physics. And it's no longer able to keep up with real time. It's simply dropped down to the minimum frame rate set in Unity. So here's a performance example using physics. Uh, right now there's 240 objects falling down, and it's just barely able to keep up with the, the frame rate it's set. Uh, if we add a few more objects, like 330 of them, you can see it's no longer even able to keep up with real time and starts chugging along until it falls to the minimum frame rate. And so here's Chipmunk running uh, the, pretty much the same example, and this is starting at 350 objects. Um, the frame rate's still, you know, it's not dropping any frames. And we can keep going up for 400, 450, and now the frame rate's starting to drop, but not nearly as much as it did with physics, and this is significantly more objects. We worked really hard in making our editors as Unity-like as possible, and then tried to take it a few steps further. Visual editing is a really important part of Unity, and we wanted ours to be even easier to use than the built-in physics editors. So we finished one example that shows off some of the great features of the engine, but with your support, we'd like to make some more. We've also got some work we need to finish on the editor scripts. Now we want to get this out to as many people as possible, so as rewards for contributors, we're of course offering copies of the Unity binding. Additional rewards we're offering include licenses of Chipmunk Pro, or an upgrade of your existing license. And due to the generosity of some great community members, we're able to offer some games that use Chipmunk physics. Three, two, one. Thanks for your support. Oh, I did my well, I don't know. I, hope I, I went good. like this though. I was like, oh, oh shoot! You can't. You can't let them know what's coming. It's gonna be like wind up for it. Yeah, you don't. You don't want to wind up. All right, maybe we'll use that.